Hi, this is Terran George from Nearshore Americas. We're here on the ground at the Nearshore Nexus Executive Level Conference. I'm here with uh, Santiago Pinzon, who is the Executive Director of ITNBPO at ANDI, the National Business Association of Colombia. And uh, Santiago, I wanted to ask you, uh, you were speaking to me earlier about creating a Latin American Business Alliance or Business Association of governments and investment promotion agencies and uh, even providers to market the region to U.S. investors and U.S. clients. Why do you feel that's so necessary right now? Well, basically what we want to do now is to position the region. Uh, one way to do it is actually to develop uh, memorandums of understanding between associations. You have uh, institutional frameworks in different countries, Latin America, all working to sell and to position their countries. But we first need, and I think is the most important, to position the region. Once you have uh, done that job, people understand the cluster of Latin America. And if you understand the cluster of Latin America, you see uh, you can identify uh, opportunities and strengths between countries. So if you work together between countries and position, position the, I'm sorry, the region, you have a better chance to compete worldwide. Uh, obviously, numbers are key here. So if you sell the scale of Latin America as a whole, you can develop different operations in different countries. So it's very important to position the region, and then you work uh, within the countries to offer the best outsourcing destination. OK, OK. And with the variation between different Latin American countries, for example, countries as different as Brazil and Guatemala, uh, could such an alliance actually work? I, I, think, I think it, could, it's, uh, it will be incremental. Mm -hmm. It's not just sign an agreement and we, 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 we can do it. Uh, what I think is most important here is that you have Portuguese, for example, in Brazil, and you have uh, cap capacities in Guatemala for voice and non-voice operations. Uh, but then you have other countries in Latin America as a whole. So what you can do is that you can develop services from the region and do one part in one country, other part in another country, and you can assemble, if you will, you can you put it that way, and offer a better service worldwide. The issue here is the, the talent that you find in Latin America. So if you uh, focus on productivity, not in only cost, but productivity, uh, professional development, you have a better choice to compete because that's what people want, adding value kind of services, not just cost approach. Mm -hmm. so, um, so such an alliance is possible, it's just we have to separate the kinds of activities that we perform in each country. Yeah, you find different segments, like different niches. Mm -hmm. uh, you have capacities in Chile, you have capacities in Colombia or Costa Rica, you have experience in Mexico, same in Brazil. Brazil obviously is a huge market, right. but what you want to uh, identify here is the cluster of Latin America. Again, if you position the region, you change the perception about what is going on, uh, how stable is the region, how we already have successful case studies there, that's the reason top 10 providers or, of, uh, or, uh, or um, uh, companies uh, worldwide are now identifying the region to become a hub for nearshore operations. Right. So right. once you uh, work that way, you have a better option. The other way, if you only sell uh, country by country, you only have competition. And it's good to have the competition. You mm -hmm. will always need the competition. But there is a lot of uh, misunderstanding about the region, misperception, and a lot of ignorance of what is going on in the region. Mm -hmm. So, as we heard in today's sessions as well, um, there are a lot of negative perceptions about Latin America that many times are not true. How can Latin American governments and even investment promotion agencies work to address that uh, information gap in the, in the U.S. market? We, we ha I'm come from Colombia. We have a, a slogan right now that is the only risk that you have is the risk of staying. Okay. So what you need to do is bring the people mm -hmm. on the ground. Mm -hmm. Take them there, see by yourself what is going on, what the world-class infrastructure, capacity, human uh, talent that you find there. That's the only way, I think, to change the perception that you have about the country or about the region. Uh, obviously, it takes time. You have uh, two decades of different news and, and, and a lot of challenges that we have able to come through. Uh, but it's a, a, a PR and a, a, a branding that you have to develop uh, all the time. It's like competitiveness. It's, it's not that you win and you are the best, uh, you are the, the, the best competitive in the world, but you have to do it every day. Mm -hmm. 
And how far can this kind of regional cooperation go? Because at some point it's going to break down. Every country is, is mainly interested in job creation and attracting companies to its own territory. That, that's the, the, the wonderful idea and the challenge at the same time. Right. You sell the region and then uh, it's up to, because you're competing also in the local perspective. You're competing between regions within a country. Mm -hmm. So you sell Latin America, you sell cities, and you, say, and you sell local destinations. So it's like a, a local offer to a worldwide uh, market. Okay. Uh, you can go as far as you want, and a key point here is develop professional, uh, professionals, I'm sorry, in outsourcing. So it's not a temporary job, it's something that you have a prosperity in the future, and that's another way to spin the issue about the region as, as a whole. You have a lot of engineers, you have a lot of accountants, you have a lot of lawyers, you can do KPO, ITO, BPO, but you need to focus on branding and also developing the professional career of outsourcing. Understood. Understood. One of the things that we'll be discussing at Nearshore Nexus is the creation of this kind of um, business alliance in Latin America to market to U.S. clients. So um, that's one of the things we look forward to. Santiago, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you. Thank and, you very uh, much. Enjoy the conference. All right. Thank you.